All right. Welcome back to the show. We're going to be reading. I just had my most disrespectful raid oh, guild experience I've seen this post. after months of playing with them. <laughs> I hope nothing like this happens anyone. All right. Let's oh. see what this is about. So I was playing in PCNA and part of a big guild that does trials. I was a regular guild there. Regular there. I got my vet and some harmon clears as well. I guess you can say I can hold my own weight in regards to trials. I play as a main healer, and I understand how frustrating it is to get slotted as one. So I was doing my regular signups in two of the raids and the raid lead deliberately ignores my signups. Now I know <gasps> raid leads can have standards, but this raid lead went an extra mile just to not sign me up. When there is one healer spot left and he cannot fill it, he cancelled the entire run and still letting me in. <laughs> I felt very disrespected and offended, like I didn't even know the guy has problems with me. And I know I am up for the standards since I have the tags that he is pinging in a roster. I confronted him and he instead said, I specifically just don't want to roster you. What really shook me is how the guild officers are handling this. The guild officers decided that it is Rayleigh's choice if he doesn't want to slot me. And all I'm asking is explanation on why. I am not a difficult person and I'm willing to meet halfway to get things clarified. But they decided that me pressing the issue was a violation, and they muted me for an entire day. I don't know what I did to them that warranted this kind of treatment, but this really brought back the memories of being ostracized in your own circle and really hurt me deeply. I know this sounds petty to some people, but I hope you don't get to experience the same treatment in your guilds. This experience definitely screams that I should just relocate to another guild. But I don't know where else can I play considering how tight my schedules are and my time zone. And I don't know if it is worth it playing this game if this is how people treat other people. Especially if they have been with them for months. Alright. It's time to break this down. <laughs> okay. So. Alright, alright. Uh, so they made a healer, right? Um, and they can hold their weight apparently, according to them anyway. And the raid lead basically, to summarize, made a roster for a run, there was one spot left, and he cancelled a run instead of letting this person sign up for that run, and then when this person approached the raid lead, the raid lead said, I just don't want to roster you. How does that make, the, how, how does that make you feel? I mean, how does that make you feel? Honestly. I think... I would kill them. <laughs> what did you say? <laughs> I would kill them. You will kill who? <laughs> the raid lead. Why? Okay. Now, I, I think... I mean, it's... You go, go on. It's, you know, the raid lead's choice who they right. roster. Yeah, true. I was thinking the same thing when I saw that post for the first time. Right. So, I think... What, but is that regardless of reason, though? You know what I mean? I mean... I mean... Like, let's say... Okay, hold on, hold on. Let's play a little devil's advocate with this, with this one. I think this is a little fun. So, let's say... I don't know. I am... Uh, I'm a woman, and the raid lead happens to be no way. an incel, <laughs> right? And they hate women, and they don't want the woman to sign up. Mm. Is that valid? Is that is that is that is that like it's a not reason? a valid reason? No, I'm not like I think that it would have been courteous to give this person an actual reason why mm. they didn't, why the raid lead didn't want to roster them. But, okay. Yeah, honestly, like I agree with you guys in terms of like, like it's a Rayleigh's choice, right? I just don't like because we only have one side of the story here, like from this person. I just don't want to roster you. I specifically just don't want to roster you. I. I mean, we need more info on this. Maybe they're like again, an asshole, again, but they're again posting, you know, again, it's 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 one, it's one side of the story, right? Mm-hmm. Maybe this p person is like the most yeah, horrible douchebag imaginable, but we don't know, you I know? I kind of skimmed through the comments to see if I could see mm -hmm. any reply that was maybe from someone on the other side of this, but unfortunately I, I didn't find anything. Okay. But yeah, uh, I would say, like, from both the Ray lead and Raider's perspective, I would say, well, if you know, if they don't want to roster you, whatever. You know, like, it's their choice in the end. It's their roster in the end. If you have a problem with it, I think you should make your own raid team, raid roster. That, you know, at the end of the day, you can, you can do that. However, my problem with this is, 
uh, what they did after, right? Right. Yes. The guild officers just decided that it's a Rayleigh's choice, right? Uh, that's whatever. You know, that's pretty mm -hmm. standard. But then they muted me for an entire day. Skill issue. Just because they wanted to know why this person had a problem with them. Hmm. Like I, that I find really unfair. It's their. I mean, they have a right to ask. You know why this raid lead doesn't want them specifically. And if he doesn't want to answer, then you know you can just say he doesn't want to answer. But for the officers to just mute this person because it's what inconvenient. Mm. Uh, I don't know. I, I don't. I don't like that. Again, I, uh, so the first like, there's like three layers to dissecting, kind of like for surface layer. Mm -hmm. Okay, it happened, and then it's like your reaction to it. Like my my reaction to this is like, okay, yeah, well, whatever, right? Mm -hmm. Second layer is like, okay, well, what did they? You know, what did they really do? I mean, there's always two yeah. sides. There's always two sides to the story. I feel like of course. because okay, I have a question. Like they said, they're pressing the matter, and they got muted. I don't know what they mean. Was this a Discord? They got timed out or something? Or like they got ignored? Uh, what does it mean by muted? Probably in the you know Discord. I mean? I think and how did they press the issue? Did they just keep PMing people? Did they just keep raising it up in the channel despite being mm -hmm. asked not to raise it up in the channel? Were uh, they asked not to raise it up in the channel? Right. You know what I mean? There, there's a lot of layers to this that I feel like mm -hmm. are missing here. Yes, there's a uh, lot of information missing because this is a biased rant post. Correct, correct. <laughs> well, okay, okay. Let's talk about. Like, what let's, do you let, expect? Okay, let's you talk know? about the next part though. Like, because I feel like this person kind of handled it okay compared to other play people I've seen. You know what I mean? You don't know. Yes. Been... Okay, okay. Here's the thing. I've seen you know, similar you know posts. <laughs> I've seen similar posts from people in similar maybe like uh, situations or happenstances, right? Where they were like. You know, this happened to me, so now I think everybody else in this demographic is a piece of shit. You know what I mean? Like, if you have a bad experience with, let's say, a raider, some people will go, well, a lot of people will go, every raider is a piece of shit, right? Mm, or, you know, or if you have a bad experience in a dungeon, you're like, oh, all dungeon experience will be like this, right? You, usually but, people, like, generalize without truly meaning to, I would say. To yeah, but, but this person, I feel like, is going like, you know... It happened hard. to me, and all I all I'm saying is I hope you know you don't get like other people don't experience the same thing I experience, or how I feel at least. Like maybe what they experience isn't the full story, but at least what they're feeling is valid. You know what I mean? Right. True. True. Yeah. True. Yeah. Honestly, but now the third layer of dissecting this is looking at the comments. <laughs> Oh, dude, the comments on these all types right. of threads are so good. All right, all right, honestly, I just peace out. They're gonna let you raid anyway, so you aren't wasting time looking for another guild. Sorry, yeah, people sure. are treating poorly. Good okay, good I mean, yeah, I, I feel like if you want to leave, you can leave. You should leave if you want. If you don't feel safe or whatever, blah blah blah, right? Um, and then the OP said, "Thing is, what is keeping them from just banning me if they are hell bent on that? Why the mute?" Well. I think this person is now confusing the raid lead with the guild officers or the rest of the guild. Yeah. <laughs> Just because one person has a problem with you doesn't Usually mean... Usually raid leads aren't moderators in the... Right, right. Raid leads are just kind of like uh, their own autonomous kind of like function of the guild. If they want to take you, they can. If they don't want to take you, they don't have to really take you. Um, depending on the guild, obviously, right? And the guild officers are just kind of there to handle the... Like, administrate the other parts of the guild. But I think now they're conflating the two here at this point. Like, why not ban me then? I don't know. But uh, there was somebody that made a point that maybe that was like they're just waiting for this person to leave. I don't get that. Why not just kick them? <laughs> you know what I mean? I've I've known people that do that. Unless there's like, well, really? Okay. I mean, yeah. Why? Because they... They're cowards? <laughs> <laughs> no, okay, like, if I, if I straight up don't like you, right, and I don't want you around, I'll just, 
either leave or just kick you, right? I mean, there's like no in between for me at least. But why why play the why play the cloak and dagger shit? Why play like the politics? It's just such a huge waste of time, honestly. They can't deal with the confrontation aspect. Honestly, that might be it. I, I feel like a lot of people don't like confronting other people, but at the same time, like, just do it. I don't know. I think it's healthier for both parties. Who knows? Maybe you know, maybe maybe. True. I mean, who knows? Maybe you'll you'll fucking um be friends after a confrontation. Was there skill issue? Maybe. What is this? Oh, aren't you that guy that posted the same thing two months ago, but with different guild? <laughs> what? Maybe, just maybe, the problem lies with you and not the guild. God oh. damn, okay, this is, this is an unexpected layer. That, that's a fucking unexpected that anime is, plot twist. That's, that's a plot twist. That's a subversion right there. Okay. Let's assume this person's right, okay? At, or, like, is correct about the same, same poster. As far as I know, you are quite notorious on various servers as a bad healer. Shit! Oh, okay. Yo, what the him. fuck, bro? <laughs> Who is he? Okay. <laughs> and what keep... was what was he doing? What and kept being roster skipped? Heck, you even double booked on one where you're not skipped. Jesus. No, All right. Well, here's the other here's the other side of the story, I guess. Oh, damn. Okay. If I were you. I will test these so-called standards you are up to, not by joining another guild and result to the same thing happening again, and you posting once again, but by joining pugs, where the bad and the good players mix up. If you can keep clearing trials on your role, then maybe you can tell others that you are now a better healer and try to raid with them again. Just prove them wrong and everyone will benefit. Jesus. Oh my god. Oh shit. Okay. And then, uh, uh so-called, what is this, Toxic Gamer? If he is just shit, I quite honestly don't get why the Rayleigh wouldn't just tell him. That's one of the few things I always tell people, because I can give them benchmarks on how to get better, and these are objective numbers I and them can measure and see if they fulfill my requirements. Okay. I met people who even told directly to their face, wouldn't believe and just completely ignore what was said, since it doesn't coincide with how they perceive themselves, so if that's the case, I won't be surprised really. I don't know about that, like, never in my, never in my, like, rating experience has... Have I told someone that they could improve or, you know, like, between friends, like, oh, you should, right? And they wouldn't look at themselves. Has anyone experienced that shit? Like, let, let's say you, you, yeah. you tell, you, you, yeah, have you, okay, but you're a solo player. <laughs> what do you yeah. mean? <laughs> well, you, you talk to yourself? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey, shit. The I have no idea makes me raise an eyebrow. Oh. OP definitely left out important details, like him following the Rayleigh to different sign-up channels to ask- Oh, this is a person that was there! Yo! What is oh. this? Okay. Yo, this guy's getting OP. Explained. Yo, OP, de OP definitely left out important details, like him following the Rayleigh to different sign-up channels, just to ask why he was roster skipped. Even when Rayleigh said multiple times to take it to DMs, where he's a support channel of their server. Looks like Discord channel, yeah. In a sense, he deserved the mute since he has resorted to spamming. I don't know why he made a big deal of the mute and painted a large rating server in a bad light. Woo! Okay. I wonder what, I wonder what this server is. No, I'm curious. I think it's, yeah, yeah. You, you, what, it's, Maybe it, it, has to be, you know, it has to be a Discord server, bro. It has to be a Discord server. Yes, or what? Maybe. I mean, it's a big Discord server. Dude, what if it's some eternal? Like, what if it's our guild server, bro? Nah, you would, you would be able to. Yeah, I would know. I would, I would know immediately if I was our guild server. We would know. We would know so fucking fast. You, you would easily be able to connect the dots. <laughs> I, I don't know. Oh, I, I really want to know what server this is. I want to join it and like, see what this player is up to. See the evidence myself, you know. Oh my god! Yeah, see, this is this is why it's really important to always think to yourself. You know, there's always two sides to the goddamn story, no matter what. Always, no matter what, right? Well, true, almost true, no matter true, what, depends true. on the depends on the thing, like depends on the severity of things, obviously. But you know, you know what I mean, you, you, like the Let's concept, show. the concept, things like this, uh, things like this, like drama and shit, right? I genocide an entire country, but listen to my side of the story. Okay. All right. 
But yeah, I mean that this was this was quite a roller coaster, right? Honestly, through the subreddit. What is this? This was the first post they made. Looks like it's the lead. <laughs> okay. I wonder why they deleted it. <laughs> Did they delete it? Probably. Oh, it was deleted by the person who originally posted. Okay, yeah, okay. Yeah. I mean, when you get called out like that, all you have that's all you do, you know? Like That's like textbook like Reddit plays. Damn. Yeah, yeah, I mean, if this person's a serial poster about this kind of shit, you know what I mean? Yeah, this is pretty interesting. Anyway, <laughs> uh, yeah. If anyone would like more consultation, yep. From me, Doctor Nuffus, yep. You can go to the subreddit I have, yep, and post your stories there. <laughs> oh, <good. laughs> yeah, shit. But that was that was, that was pretty good, honestly. <laughs>